And now it's time for the Ronco Radio Hour, brought to you by the new Ronco Riding Roto-Rooter that makes messy plumbing jobs fun. Tonight's episode, Haunted Christmas. It's not my fault, you know. How was I supposed to know that the car was going to break down way out here in the middle of nowhere? I told you I heard something funny when you cranked it up. You should have gone out of the car and checked it then. Now we're going to be late for Molly's Christmas Eve party. I'm sure it's just something minor. Certainly, there's got to be a a house around here somewhere, and we'll find someone to help us. Have you tried your cell phone? There's no signal way out here. Just try it again. Please dial star 611 for assistance, as your cellular phone is not authorized for use at this time. See? No signal. Let's just keep walking. I'm sure we'll find a house out here somewhere. I must have been crazy to let you take that shortcut. The GPS said it would cut 20 minutes off our trip. How was I supposed to know the car would break down 10 miles from nowhere? What was that? I don't know. Just keep moving. Hey, is that a light up ahead? Yeah, it's a house. Finally, come on. That's not a house. It's a castle. More like a mansion. But as long as they don't got a phone, I don't care if it's an igloo. Look at the size of this gate. Boy, they must really want to keep somebody out. Or something in. Would you stop that? You watched way too many scary movies. Here, help me with this change. Yep, yeah, this is exactly what I expected to do on my Christmas Eve. Break into a creepy haunted mansion. Why do you think it's haunted? Look at that house. It's covered with vines. All the windows are black. And is that a vulture on the roof? Come on, you sissy. Okay. We're here. Now what? Somebody's gotta knock on the door. Go ahead. You're the one who broke the car. I did not break the- (sighs) Oh, forget it. Okay, here goes. Maybe they didn't hear us knock. Maybe no one's home. On Christmas Eve? Knock louder. Okay, are you happy? I think I broke something. Wait, what's that? I hear something. Sounds like somebody's dragging something across the floor. Okay, I've heard enough. Can we just go? I'm sure there's another, less creepy house a couple blocks down the road. Wait a minute. Was that a scream? Let's just go. Come on. Too late. Good evening. Welcome to the Wesley Manor. May I help you? Uh, yeah. Our car broke down a couple miles back, and we can't seem to get our cell phones to work out here. Do you have a phone so we could call a tow truck? Why, certainly, sir. Please, do come it. Please, just step over that bag. I'm just doing a little, uh, last-minute decorating. Roger. Uh, sir, we hate to oppose. Maybe you could just call a tow truck for us? Nonsense. Please, come warm yourself by the fire. I'll summon my master. The master? Yes, my dear. Count Wesley. He'll be so delighted to have guests to share Christmas Eve with. Please, follow me. Roger. Just be cool. We'll make our call and get out of here as fast as we can. Hannah and Roger are led into a large hall where there's a roaring fire in the fireplace. Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll ring the master. Ring the master? What does that mean? It means he's going to ring the master. Don't worry, I'm sure he's just a regular guy who made a lot of money on the internet and decided he wanted to live out a childhood fantasy and buy a big mansion. He'll come through those big doors any second, hand us a phone, and we'll be on our way before Molly finishes serving the the hors d'oeuvres. When this is all over, we'll sure have a great story to share with everyone at the party. May I present... Count Vlad Wesley, the 13th master of the Wesley Manor. Well, so much for internet tycoon. Hannah, manners! Good evening. Welcome to Wellesley Manor. I hope that my butler, Igor, has made you feel at home. Yes, thank you for your hospitality. Uh, yeah, thanks. You think we could just borrow the phone? Oh, I'm sorry. There was a terrible storm last night, and all the phone lines are down. Internet... Cell phone carrier pigeon? I am sorry. We are rather isolated out here. I'm afraid you're stranded for the night. Stranded? You mean we're going to have to spend the night here? I'm sure there's some way we can get a ride into town, right, Count? I'm afraid not. Alas, my car is in disrepair. 
as is yours. I am sorry. We could hitchhike. My dear, the only car that comes down this road belongs to the mailman. And with the Christmas holidays, he won't be by here for another three days. Just make yourself comfortable, and I'm sure we can summon a tow truck first thing in the morning. Make ourselves comfortable? Comfortable? Spending Christmas Eve in a giraffe old mansion with characters from a bad horror movie? What she means is, thank you for your hospitality. I understand, my dear, but you needn't fret. Christmas Eve is the most glorious night of the year here at Wellesley Manor. I was just about to sit and enjoy my Christmas dinner. Won't you please join me and I'll tell you the legend of how Lord Wellesley saved Christmas. Come, Igor has prepared the table. We'd love to, right Hannah? Well, okay. If we can't get out of here tonight, we might as well have something to eat. That is the Christmas spirit, my dear. You're in luck. Igor has prepared a beautiful Christmas goose stuffed with figgy pudding. Shall we sit? Igor. How about some beverages? Yes, master. We are being so rude. Please allow me to introduce ourselves. My name is Roger Hatch, and this is my girlfriend, Hannah. Pleased to meet you, Sir Roger. And you, Madame Hannah, are a delight. Here, have some of Igor's delicious pudding. So, I take it you're not the original owner of Willisley Manor? Oh no, Roger. This glorious home has been passed down from generation to generation. I am the 13th master of Wellesley Manor. What was that? Oh, that? That's just some old water pipes. I'm afraid the plumbing in the manor is quite ancient. Maybe you should, uh, go check on that, Igor? Yes, master. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the legend of how Lord Wellesley saved Christmas. More pudding, my dear? Uh, sure. The year was 1780. My great, 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 excuse me, I'm parched. of good cheer from everywhere filling the air all how they pound raising the sound all hail and dill telling the tale people sing songs of good cheer Christmas is here Merry 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 Christmas Merry 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 Christmas Ding dong Ding dong From everywhere filling the air Oh, how they pound, raising the sun Oh, hail and dill, telling the tale Gathering while people sing songs of good cheer Christmas is here Merry, 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 merry Christmas Merry, 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 merry Christmas Ding dong, ding ding dong Where was I? Oh, yes. Great-great-grandfather, Lord Vladimir Wellesley, the first, had just moved into Wellesley Manor, the palatal mansion he built for his beautiful wife, Lady Bella. What was that? Oh, that's just Igor beating on the pipes. Every now and then, you have to give them a good whack. See? Now where was I? Oh, yes. Old Vlad the First. They say that he had been a hero of the Revolutionary Army and retired a general after the war. He built this house for his new bride, and they moved in on Christmas Eve. I've heard the story so many times, 
It's almost like I was there that night long ago. Oh my dear Bella, you look so lovely in the candlelight. After so many lonely nights fighting the British, I have longed for this evening when we could spend our first Christmas Eve in our new home. It's lovely, Vlad, but I don't know that I deserve such a mansion at Weasley Manor. My dear, you deserve all the castles in the world, but none can match your splendid beauty. What does that sound? Vlad? It sounds like sleigh bells. That is rather curious. They're getting closer. It sounds like whatever it is is now on our roof. Please don't alarm yourself, my dear. I shall go and investigate. What was that? Why, Santa Claus, of course. Santa Claus? Yes. As legend has it, one of Santa's reindeer, Comet, I believe, threw a shoe and they landed on Wellesley Manor for a quick repair. Vlad the First strode up to the grand staircase to seek out the source of the noise, and upon opening the attic door, was in for quite a surprise. Old Vlad the First swung open the attic door and came face to face with Old Saint Nick himself. Ho oh, ho oh, oh. ho! Well, what have we here? I believe you must be Count Vlad. Then something miraculous happened. Santa walked over and put his arm around Old Vlad and as the legend has it, told him the complete history of every single gift he had ever given Vlad under his tree since his first Christmas. And when you were twelve, I believe I brought you a set of ice skates and a new fur hat. Oh, young Vlad, I'm Santa Claus. I remember everything. Ho, ho, ho. Old Vlad went to his barn and got some horseshoes and nails and fix that throne shoe on Comet, quick as a lick. You expect us to believe that story. Santa is just a fairy tale. Everybody knows that. Wait a minute. What is that? Oh, that's just Igor, preparing for our guest. Guest? You're expecting someone else? Oh yes. What I failed to mention is that before Santa departed from the roof all those many years ago, he made a promise to my ancestor as a way to show his appreciation. Santa promised to return to Wellesley Manor every Christmas Eve with a personal gift for its inhabitants. You mean to tell me that Santa's coming here tonight? That's right, my dear. He should be arriving any minute now. So that noise in the attic is Igor preparing for Santa to land? Yes, indeed. But what about the screams and the moans? There it goes again! Oh my dear Hannah. Those sounds are just Igor. I'm afraid that he is rather clumsy in moving the furniture around and opening the attic door. He had a tendency to hurt himself. But the big bag by the front door? It looks like it's got a body in it. Hannah! You know this place is creepy, Roger. The big white bag? Yes, the big white bag. The one with the body in it. <laughs> That's just our laundry. Igor is not only a little clumsy, he is also a very poor housekeeper, I'm afraid. I believe that is our guest now. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. Hannah and Roger, I'd like to introduce you to my dear friend, Santa Claus. It, it's an honor, sir. Santa? Is that really you? Yes, dear, I'm truly the one and only Santa Claus. Good evening, Vlad, my old friend. I see Igor here still as clumsy as ever. I stumped my toe again. We've been working on getting that old attic cleaned up ever since last Christmas. But alas, time has flown by. It always does. Hold the phone. You're telling me that this big, chubby guy in a rented Santa costume is the real Santa? Yes, Hannah. He's been stopping at Wellesley Manor every Christmas Eve for more than 200 years. Chubby? Do, I, do you really think I'm chubby? Mrs. Claus put me on a slim fast this year. You look like you've lost a ton of weight since last year, doesn't he, Igor? Yes, master. Oh, I get it. Roger put you up to this, didn't he? Very funny, Roger, pretending to break down in front of an old haunted mansion, the screaming, moaning, and then hiring some old dude to put on a red suit and pretend to be Santa. This is all a joke, right? Where's the camera? Hannah, I have no idea what you're talking about. My dear, I am real Santa Claus. Everything that Vlad has told you is the truth. Shall I prove it to you? Yeah, sure. How? Well, let's see. 
Maybe this will ring a bell. On your seventh birthday, you sent me a letter asking for a Barbie playhouse. I remember it because you colored the purple flowers and rabbit all over the envelope. How'd you know? You asked for a scooter for your eighth Christmas. I believe an easy bake oven when you were nine. Then all of a sudden, your letter stopped. You turned ten, and your cousin Millie told you Santa was just a fairy tale. But I kept getting presents? Of course! Dear sweet Hannah, just because you don't believe in me anymore doesn't mean I don't believe in you. Now, our wonderful host, the 13th Count of the Wesley, will explain the tradition of our annual visit to the Wesley Manor. Every Christmas Eve, Santa stops at Wesley Manor and gives out special gifts to all who reside within at exactly midnight. And that means it's time. Well, we'll start with you. Sir Igor, as you requested a via mail, I have brought you a new wireless keyboard for your keyboard. Thank you, Santa. For you, Mr. Vlad, I noticed that you seem to have a growing interest in culinary arts. So, a new stainless steel frying pan. That's exactly the one I've been searching for on eBay. Thanks, Santa. And now, in keeping with the tradition, I believe I have a special gift in the bag for each of you. Roger, Hannah. How did you know we would be here? Oh, Santa knows everything. Now for you, Sir Roger. I believe that you have been asking for a new cashmere sweater all winter. Here you are. Size large. Oh, Santa, it's beautiful. I bet there's nothing in that bag for me, being a unbeliever and all. Oh, my dear, I have something very special for you this year. Something you've been wanting for years. Let's see. It's, it's way down in the bottom of my bag. Here it is. It's just a box. What is it? Well, open it, my dear. Oh, Santa, it's... It's... It's an engagement ring you saw in the window of the jewelry store. The same one that Roger has been waiting to give you when he asks you to marry him on Christmas morning. But, but that ring was way too expensive. Not anymore. Oh, Roger. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it seems that my annual visit to the Wesley Manor has been a success. But there's millions of, of children out there that I have to visit tonight. So, I guess I must be on my way. Ah, Count Vlad, I believe you you have something for me? Oh yes, another part of the tradition. Homemade cookies and a tall glass of milk. First of the night. Don't tell Mrs. Claus. Ah, delicious. I guess I'll be on my way now. Remember, Hannah, I'll be by to see you every year, whether you believe in me or not. Good night, dear. Oh, good night, Santa. And thank you for everything. See, I promised you that tonight would be something very special. And it was, wasn't it? Oh, yes, sir. And you, Hannah? Do you now believe in my friend, Santa? Oh, yes. How could I have been so stupid? I thought we were going to spend Christmas Eve in a haunted mansion, but instead I got to meet Santa face to face and got engaged in all one night. Haunted mansion? Ha. Huh. Very funny, Igor. The joke's up. I know it's you up there. You can cut it out now. You called, madame? You mean you've been in the kitchen all this time? Yes, madame. Preparing dessert. Then who's in the attic? Will Roger and Hannah make it out of Wellesley Manor alive? Will Igor learn how to do laundry? Will Count Vlad get his own cooking show on the Food Network? To find out, tune in next week, same time, same station, for more mysteries on the Ronco Radio Hour.